like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it peaks, spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars when you are full of the holy ghost there are three things that the holy ghost will make you say ephesians 5 19 please let's hurry up give it to us speaking to yourselves in number one psalms i leave that one for next year most of you do not know the power of psalms you see these psalms you see is a mystery that man called david psalms he says when the holy ghost comes upon you how do you think david wrote psalms by intelligence no the holy ghost came upon him and he found himself writing things the lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall i be afraid of are we together now the lord is the strength of my life what can man do to me so that confession called psalms was inspired by the holy ghost and he said you can verify the spirit that is influencing you by what you are saying if the holy ghost comes upon you you will find yourself speaking psalms psalms the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he makes me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness for his namesake psalms yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death you call it confession the bible calls it psalms understand what i'm teaching you now that every time you are under the influence of the holy ghost what he does to you is he makes you to begin to speak to yourselves in psalms number two hymns you see eh? do you know why these hymns don't die there are many songs that are dead they wrote them last year they are dead by now before december because the depth in the spirit from which they were fetched it was it was not anything serious some of these hymns you will see 1890 something now of course there may be some scriptural errors because it was men that wrote it but let me tell you the truth hymns it does not just mean ss and s alone it's a prophetic statement these people that wrote hymns you see they were not just musicians they were inspired of the holy ghost is someone hearing now showers of blessings showers of blessings we need Mercy drop round are falling, but for the shadow. When you were growing up, you used to sing it, but now that you have become a matured African, you left what can lift you. I'm not just saying it must be chanting it, but most people do not know that they have been negative rainmakers to their lives because they have ignored the power of Psalms speaking to yourself in psalms in hymns my hope is built on nothing less than jesus and righteousness i cannot trust the sweetest friend. oh you still remember on christ the solid hallelujah please listen let me tie up something i'm teaching you because what i'm teaching you is very powerful do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess but be ye filled with the spirit speaking speaking in psalms speaking in hymns then you get to this third dimension speaking in speaking in psalms speaking in hymns speaking in spiritual songs 
they are not just special numbers you hear me say you ring you ring hello you ring you ring you ring i don't you ring yeah na 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 what is that yeah. 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 Ask Sam who wrote the song that when it came to him, is that his language? Did you not hear the Bible says, Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, there are communications that do not belong to this realm but are needed in this realm. Are we together now? Tongues is one of them. That when someone begins to pray and you are now even praying in tongues it does not make sense but the bible says you are reacting to the influence of the spirit and although men may not understand there is a programming happening in the realm of the spirit spiritual songs hallelujah listen then the bible says something very interesting it's saying making melody in your heart in your heart how do you do that your heart has a voice is that true she said to herself if i may but touch the hem of his garment say not to yourself who shall ascend listen let me tell you this these are simple but profound mysteries paul would not gather in front of god's people and be wasting their time teaching them jargons these were the ladders that he followed himself to ascend these realms of strange power speaking to yourself in psalms psalms means psalms in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the except the lord builds a house they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over the city they watch it in vain when the lord turn again the captivity of zion hold on that means at any point in your life you begin to sense you know how people sorry for the use of words you know how people throw up something within is what causes it isn't it you start feeling you want to throw up that is how it is in the spirit Shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. from a background where no one has risen show me a man surrounded by failure causes poverty but then you know how to be filled with the spirit that the moment the presence of god comes don't keep quiet the next thing is to begin to speak to yourself in psalms speak to yourself in hymns and spiritual songs prophetic rainmakers creating a climate of favor a climate of glory a climate of grace a climate of longevity a climate of power a climate of possibilities listen 
Hear me. Hear me. Many years ago, when this ministry was at its infancy, I made a prophetic statement by the Spirit and I said, We will all be great. And that the greater part is we will all know ourselves. It was not a suggestion. It was a prophetic word that came from the depth of the Spirit. Hallelujah. What are you saying in your house? Or what is speaking in your house? Sometimes you are not the one saying it. But you are allowing demonic atmospheres around your house. Negative atmospheres. Let me tell you this. I'm sure it has happened to someone. Where you are soaking yourself in an atmosphere of worship or a message. And then you fall asleep. And you find out it still continues with a stronger atmosphere of power. And sometimes you wake up under such an intense influence. Adam, who told you? What have you given permission to speak into your life? Who have you allowed to program your thinking? To program your mind? To alter you? Dear prophet of God, who did you start listening to that you stopped believing in yourself? What did you start listening to that suddenly made you all rules to become a weak person? Words make strong and words make weak. Words make wise and words make foolish. Words bring power and words bring limitations.